Thank you for joining us for another Series NRX accessory tutorial video. Today we will demonstrate how to properly install an auxiliary switch into the right tray of an NRX Series circuit breaker. Auxiliary switches are provided as two switch combinations and provide remote electrical indication if the circuit breaker is open or closed. Disclaimer. Before proceeding with the installation and or removal of any accessory, always de-energize the primary and secondary circuits. If you have a draw-out breaker, make sure it is levered out to the disconnect position. Finally, all circuit breakers should be switched to the off position and all mechanism springs should be discharged. Failure to follow any of these precautions could result in death, bodily injury, and property damage. To install an auxiliary switch, you will need the following tools and parts. One Phillips head screwdriver, one pair of needle nose pliers, a right accessory tray, and auxiliary switch assembly, including the secondary leads. In this section, we will demonstrate how to remove the front cover, remove the right accessory tray, install the auxiliary switches, and reattach the front cover. For this demonstration, we will use a three-pole IEC draw-out breaker. Before proceeding with the installation, you must remove the front cover of the circuit breaker. If you have a three-pole breaker, you must remove the four non-captive screws with the number two Phillips head screwdriver. If you have a four-pole breaker, there are six screws to be removed. Make sure you save the screws for reinstallation. Once you've done this, pull down on the charging handle for easy removal of the cover from the breaker. First, locate the right accessory tray. It sits behind the manual charging handle. With your thumb and index fingers, slide the tray to the right. A minimum of two inches of side clearance is required on an installed fixed breaker for tray removal. Position the auxiliary switches for installation by tilting them backwards and sliding the metal prongs underneath the plastic tabs located on the close side of the accessory tray. After you've positioned the switches correctly, push them downward until you hear a snapping sound. The sound indicates that the switches are secure. Install the right accessory tray into its original position. To do so, make sure that both the top and bottom of the tray slide in under the metal rails. This is how it should look when done correctly. Now it's time to connect the secondary leads. To simplify this process, release the secondary tray by pressing on the two orange buttons. Slide the tray until the back edge lines up with the numbers. When inserting the leads, odd numbers are always on the bottom. When you are finished connecting the secondary leads, this is how the final product should appear. Remember to push back the secondary tray. After you've completed the installation, you must reattach the front cover of the circuit breaker. To do this, first pull down on the manual charging handle, then position the front cover on the breaker. Make sure the cover fits inside the side sheet tabs. Once the front cover is properly positioned, secure it to the breaker with the four non-captive screws you removed earlier. Make sure you secure all of the screws that you previously removed. In this section, we will demonstrate how to remove the auxiliary switches from the right accessory tray. First, you need to remove the front cover from the breaker and release the secondary tray by pressing on the two orange buttons. We demonstrated how to accomplish these in the previous section. Once the tray has been released, 
Disconnect the secondary leads from the secondary mounting bracket. Remove one lead at a time by pinching the plastic tabs with a pair of needle nose pliers and sliding the lead outward. Next, grab the right accessory tray with your thumb and index finger and slide it out. To remove an auxiliary switch, pull back on the switch's locking tab and tilt it backwards so the metal prong can be slid out from underneath the plastic tab. This completes the auxiliary switch tutorial. For additional tutorials and information on Eaton Series NRX circuit breakers, please visit us at eaton.com slash series NRX. For questions or further support, please contact your local Eaton sales representative.